So how did you reach the point where you made the decision? One day, um, John said, you know, the kids and I have been talking. They're very, very upset about your smoking, worried. So we came up with a plan. We'll give you a year sabbatical. You research everything you can and find a way for you to stop smoking. Do it as your dissertation. Make, make it an educational process, not, you know, not an emotional thing for us and cigarettes. So they took all the chores and the shopping and the housework and the stuff like that, and I sat up at my desk and I started researching all the literature around the world, actually, later. I had done all the things that they said you could do to quit smoking, but none of it worked, and none of it made made sense to me anymore. I got a I got a a room at the New York Public Library on 42nd and 5th. That was the best thing ever happened to me, except meeting John. And so I got all the literature from everywhere in the world. Um, made copious notes and got more and more disgusted with all the money that's being spent and nobody knows what it's like to quit and what it's like when you quit. No, yeah. there's nothing talking like that. So I came out, I sat down and I said, okay, I, John said I have to be the expert. I'm going to be an expert in finding why I smoke and how to quit. And so the first thing I did, and then for a long time, was every time I wanted to light up, I said, why am I doing that? Well, I was either tired or hungry or stressed or some trigger thing happened or whatever. So I had file folders, you know, the classic bookkeeping or office file folders. And for everything I said, I'm doing, I'm lighting up because, or I want to light up because, I would put that heading on the tab, I ended up with 137 different things. <laughs> so now I say, oh God, this is too big, too big. And I talk to John all the time. And, no, John, John, Jackie, it's not too big for you. You've done harder things. You can do this. So I took each one and I said, well, what do I do about that? Okay, if I'm tired, I need some boost of energy. What can I do about that? And so my limited knowledge of um, nutrition at the time, and I said, okay, I know sugar gives me a boost. I'll have a little orange juice instead of lighting up. For instance, on another thing was um, I feel like I want to chew on something or suck on something. My mouth wants something, so I'm going to light up. Oh, your mouth need some oral gratification without a cigarette. And I totaled up the amount of times that I put a cigarette <laughs> to my mouth. It was thousands in a day, you know. Oh, well, what do I do about that? And I talked to John, and he said, well, I know what you can do. Go brush your teeth. Satisfy the need for oral gratification. Change the taste in your mouth so it doesn't warrant, it doesn't call for a cigarette, for instance, because that's one of the... Um, and so that's what I did. And so I added that to after meals when we have our coffee or tea or whatever and immediately have to light up. It's one of the big triggers, you know. So instead of having my coffee or dessert or whatever, mm -hmm. oh, in those days when I smoked, I didn't want dessert. I just wanted a cigarette. <laughs> Later on, I realized one of the things you substitute is dessert. <laughs> and why do people gain weight when they quit yeah. smoking? Right. So, John suggested, you know, that I go brush my teeth. And that's when I started adding these delay times. Mm -hmm. that, okay, I can have a cigarette all I want, but I just have to wait five minutes. In those five minutes, I'm going to go brush my teeth. A good distraction. Mm -hmm. And that started this whole delay thing that works so well in smoke enters now. So I would delay for five minutes the first... A uh, week, the second week, as it turned out, I was writing a five-week or eight-week program at the time. Um, so each week I would add a little more s 
strengthening to whatever it was I was doing the last week. Mm -hmm. And so the next week it was 10 minutes, and the next week it was 20 minutes, and then last week it was half an hour. And by this time, I could do a half hour, I could do an hour. I mean, I'm brushing my teeth, I'm involved in something else, and I, the craving is somewhere gone for the time being. Mm -hmm. And that's how I kind of invented this um, delay time thing. How did you do. put that all into a timeline? Oh, well, I, um, at first I didn't realize it was going to be a timeline. I just knew I didn't. I didn't want to go cold turkey. Of course, when you were doing that, you weren't purposely trying to design a course. You were trying to oh, quit. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. I was trying to save my marriage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it had gotten to a pretty bad point. Mm -hmm. 